Now, can you see, I've put lots and lots of different coins down here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty coins that all look the same. Do you know what they are? They are, can you see the number on this one? They are 1p coins. 1p coins! So to earn 20p, you would have to get 20 of those coins. But if you earn 20, uh, 2p every day, you could earn 2 on a Monday, 2 more on a Tuesday, 2 more on a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday. You could then have the weekend off, but then you could earn 2 more the next Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you could earn two, four, six, eight, ten the first week, then two, four, six, eight, ten the second week. And of course, ten plus ten would make twenty. Let's see if we can count to twenty then. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Or you might be paid in two big coins. They're these bigger brown ones up here. Let's count them. Now what you have to do is you don't just count them one at a time. You have to count in twos. So each time you, you touch the coin you have to say two. Okay, ready? So two, four... Six, eight, ten, so that's ten P there. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So again, after two weeks, so after that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weekend off, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you could have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20. And the reason why you get bigger coins is that you don't have to have all these tiny, tiny coins in your pocket that you might lose easily. So you could be paid in one piece, you could be paid in two piece, or maybe your mummy and daddy might say, we'll give you your money at the end of the week. That's what mummies and daddies have to wait. They have to wait to be paid. And then, if you got your 10p for the week, what you would do is you'd actually get you could get two 5p's. Because they are 5 and 5, like you know, makes 10. So 5 and 10 in the first week. 5 and 10 in the second week. So that would be 10 plus 10. That makes 20, of course, doesn't it? So 5, 10, 15. 20. Isn't that funny that that is 20p? This is 20p and so is this. 20p. Isn't that funny? And you could do it another way too. This is a 10p coin. A 10p coin. That's a bit cool, isn't it? A silver one. Big silver one. 10p coin. So after one week, you could get one of these. After your second week, you could get another one. And of course, 10 plus 10 makes 20, doesn't it? 10, 20. So this is the same as this, is the same as this, and is the same as this. 20p, 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 20p. This is a 20p coin. You see, it says 20p on the coin. It's a 20p coin. So after two weeks, you could be paid with one 20p coin. So you don't need to add anything else to it. That is your 20p. How funny that you would need 21 pennies 
10 two pennies, four five penny coins, two ten penny coins, or one twenty penny coin. They are all worth the same. But this is easier to have in your pocket than all of these tiny, tiny coins, isn't it? That's why you get different coin values. Exciting. So you could be paid for hanging that washing up, pairing those socks, maybe sorting the shoes out, putting those into pairs. All sorts of different jobs you could do. Maybe you could write a little list down and send it to me or Mrs. Perry, or Mrs. Tennant, Mrs. McCabe. We love to get your work. Good luck with your counting in twos. It's tricky, isn't it? But you are super, super clever. We'll see you soon. Bye.